welcome back to the Firefly Studio 67. This is Gina. I've got a little journal that I've just completed and I thought I'd do a flip through on here uh, for anybody that's interested. Uh, this is another one of the envelope only journals. Uh, the inspiration from this came from Charlotte Peterson. She's got a channel if you want to check hers out. Um, this journal comes in at about five inches by six and a half. Um, Again, this is created using um, envelopes only, and then I've just layered a lot of layers of papers, book pages, laces, and then I've done one of the um, closures that I recently showed in one of my t um, little notebook tutorials using the book pages where I've just layered that. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm so happy with how this came out. And then I added the eyelets there. And then the closure's got the seam binding. I've done a lot of sewing in this journal. And it is a small one. It's about uh, five and a half by, let me see, I think it, it comes in about five by six and a half. Um, just because, it, you know, some of it kind of hangs over the way I've created it. So the front, you've got the closure with the seam binding. <clears throat> and then on the inside here, I've just taken a little envelope and just tucked in a journal journal card there. And then that just tucks under there. And then you've got uh, a tag that I've put back here. So you've got a pocket back there, another place there. And then here I've just added some... Uh, old fabric with a bit of a doily and then the little safety pin and then over here I've done a, a snippet with an old mother of pearl um, button and then there's a little tuck spot here so you can see this is the other envelope and then this is journal card that I've tucked in there it just ended up getting so chunky <laughs> I mean you can see uh, I don't normally <clears throat> end up making really chunky journals, but this one just just came out that way. So that's tucked in there. And then on this side, I've got another tuck spot here, a little charm, and bits of fabric. And then this opens up, and you got four little tags, and a couple of them I stamped, and then some of the others are just leftover digitals. Um, that I've cut out, but isn't that pretty? And this is a My Porch Print um, little file um, that she's got in her shop. A little um, journal card there with the butterfly and some lace. Just lots of little bits and pieces. And then over here, I have closed this, um, well first on the front you've got a tuck spot here that's holding a couple of journal cards. And then this I've pinned with one of the little um, paper clips and then here you can do some journaling there. So even though it's all envelopes and there are no pages, there's still a lot of space um, with the journal cards and things that you can still do a lot of writing. And then I just added that little glitter heart. For a little bit of bling there. And then over here, <clears throat> if you've been watching, I did the um, Shabby Chic Master Board. This was one of the journal cards that I created from that. So that's been tucked into that pocket up there. And then here, I've got another pocket back there, and then this tuck spot there. So lots of little tags and journal cards for you to write on there. And over here, this is just an old um, lace tablecloth that I took. Um, it had a few stains, so I didn't mind cutting that up. And then I've added another old button there, and again, another um, little tuck spot. And then on this side, I've got another little tuck spot here and a journal card there. And it's all been collaged behind this um, <clears throat> with book pages and lots of different uh, shabby chic type um, papers. 
So on this one, I've got another pocket in there, this tag. And then over here, just added some trim. And then this is another, um, this is the center of the signature. So you've got a tag here, another one up here. And then I've stamped these and added this little tag. I love that stamp. I don't remember which stamp that, that is. I've had that for years and years. And then another one in this little pocket. So here, again, you've got another pocket up here. You can add a little photo here or do some writing. And then on this one, you've got another handmade tag that I've tucked in there. And this is one of the altered tea bags pockets. And I've added a couple of little metal um, rose charms there. So you got a um, tag up there, and then this flips over, and here I've got another journal card with some old lace and fabric. I've just stitched to that. And again, there's room you could add some uh, a photo, or if you wanted to add another pocket, you could, but it is very chunky already. Um, and some more little tickets and. Uh, Another journal card from my stash. I really have enjoyed making these because they're nice. You know, it's, it's a smaller project. There's not, they still take a lot of time, but, um, and then I did some, this is just a little notepad I made, stitched it, stamped there, and then another journal card. Um, but it's nice to have something that's, you know, smaller working with. Um, okay, so here I've got a <clears throat> book page tag that's tucked in there and we've got another little I love these these are from my porch prints and it's just you can write inside of that <clears throat> and this is an Artie Mays uh, from her foxglove kit uh, that tag I love those and then in this little glassine envelope pocket, I've made these little journal cards, and I've cut that out so that that just shows through all those pretty images. And if I'm not mistaken, I think those are antique papery images. So, again, more stash busting. I'm trying to clear out and use up things that I've printed. Um, there. And then I added some uh, lace here and just tied a little bow in that. So that's, I think that's pretty. Um, here, <clears throat> I recently did the little faux stamp, um, stamp, postage stamps. So I've added one of those. So that's a little tuck spot there. And then that's a um, just a little journal card I've stamped. Sorry guys, there should be a journal card in that. I did not realize. I must have left it over um, on the other desk, so I will have to add that to it. Um, on the back cover here, we've got this journal card, and then I've got this little tag that's tucked in there. So you've got three pockets on the very back, and as I said, there there is a journal card made for this. I don't know why that's not in there, but that will be in there. And then the back, again, I absolutely love the way this looks. I've got the lace and all of the collaging and layering on that closure. Okay, guys, that's all I've managed to get um, completed. Things are just going very, very slow at the moment. Um, I'm sure you understand. Um, but, yeah, I've got a couple more journals that I'm working on that I'm hoping will be completed very soon but this one is ready and in the shop if you're interested you can check that out and I will be back very soon with some more um, create with me tutorials and hopefully some more journals to share you guys take care and I'll see you very soon bye